Oh, hi. I'd like to spend a couple of moments talking about formal charges. And here's the context of this. Let's say that we're examining a very, very strange polyatomic ion, NO+. Plus, the nitrosimonium um, ion. Very, very odd. And NO+, plus has five valence electrons from the nitrogen, six from the oxygen, five plus six, that's 11, but it has a positive charge, so it only has 10 electrons. There's no way to satisfy all of our bonding rules, our octet rules, because we have a nitrogen next to an oxygen. Nitrogen wants to fi find itself in three bonds, oxygen two, so since they sit next to each other, it's not going to happen. So let's say that two students propose a couple of Lewis dot structures for these things. Students. A, student B, they, they have the correct number of electrons. They've got it boxed up with a positive sign. Everything looks pretty good. We can evaluate these and say, well, how closely do these models resemble what we actually observe for the NO plus polyatomic ion? So we use something called the formal charge. And before I define that and tell you how to do it, let's go ahead and take a look at the components that came to play. See, nitrogen is in group five. It has five valence electrons, so I'm going to put an N with five dots. Oxygen is in group six, has six valence electrons, six dots. Now, if you will, we can't satisfy octet rules all the time and bonding rules all the time. And we're not going to look at octet rules. What we're going to do is say, how many electrons did nitrogen come to play with? Five. And how many electrons is nitrogen assigned or responsible for in the structure? And it turns out that it's three. Let me show you how to determine that. Nitrogen has a pair of electrons here that belong to nitrogen. It has a pair of electrons between the nitrogen and the oxygen, shared, bonding electrons. Let's split the bonding electrons so that nitrogen gets half of them, meaning one goes to nitrogen and the other one goes to oxygen. Nitrogen is now assigned three, one, two, three. Oxygen came to play with six. It's assigned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this deal. The formal charge is calculated for each atom. The formal charge on the left here is going to be 6 minus, oh my goodness, it's 5 minus 3 is equal to positive 2. Nitrogen came to play with 5. We can say it's group number. It's assigned 3. We can go ahead and say it's got 3 when we split the electrons. And it sums to uh, positive 2. Oxygen's formal charge is going to be 6. It's group number. Its number of valence electrons is 6, minus the ones that we go ahead and assign to it, which turns out to be 7. And that totals to negative 1. If I were to tell you something like this, let's create a structure where the formal charges are as close to 0 as possible, you might think that would be the best representation of the real thing. And you're right, because if we come to play with 5 and we give it 5, we come to play with 6 and we give it 6, it's like the assignments are correct. Let's take a look at this structure over here on the right. I'm going to take the 6 electrons in the middle and split them. So how are you going to split them? 6 electrons in the middle, let's split them so that nitrogen gets 3 and oxygen gets 3. Formal charge calculation, nitrogen's formal charge is calculated by saying how many valence electrons? Five minus, hey, five are assigned. Two on the left, and then three that were in the bond. Over here on the right side, formal charge. Oxygen has six. It's getting assigned five. One, two, three from that bond, and two more on the outside. This is the best that we could do. It's a beautiful structure. I said that's the best we can do. You might expect maybe we can get them all to be 0. We can't. Turns out that the formal charges, when done correctly, total to be the charge on the ion. If this is a molecule, meaning neutral, the formal charges can be zeros. This one's 0, positive 1, that sums to plus 1. This is a very good representation of the actual structure.